Hello, hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And this is Wednesday Check-In. I want to firstly um, send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So it's Wednesday check-in. So before I do anything or say anything, let's check in. So take a nice big breath. Um, oh, I really want to grab my big singing bowl. So I'm just going to nip over here for a moment because it's just a couple of side steps away. I'm going to come back with my big singing bowl and we'll use that for our check-in. So while I'm doing that, perhaps take a couple of really big breaths and see how you can check in with yourself and, and maybe start that process. I'll be back in one second. Okay, maybe three or four seconds. Let's take a big breath. I've got my big Tibetan singing bowl. It's incredible. And yes, it is huge. I mean, that's it level with my head. So it's a massive one, but I can't really hold it up for long. It really hurts my wrists. So I've got it resting on my knees. I wonder if I can just, can, oh, nah, you can't really see. I'll just lift this up a wee bit. So take a nice big breath. We're going to quickly check in, and then I'm going to talk about a couple of things with you. So nice big breath, and what we're doing is checking in. So remembering, checking in is observing. We're not judging. We're observing. We're paying attention. We are listening to what's going on in our body, so physically, then emotionally, and then mentally. So this is your time now to do a scan and check in. Ooh, nice big breaths. Okay, so how are you doing in this moment? Not how you felt five minutes ago or yesterday. Not how you might feel in an hour's time or tomorrow, but how you really feel now. So what has stood out for you? And based on what you've acknowledged and what you've observed, what can you do about it? So if you notice you're thirsty, if you've got a sore knee, if you are tired, if you... Um, are stressed out. If you, whatever you notice, your checking in time is now about okay. I've observed this. Now, what can I do about this? Do I need to go and take a nap? Do I need to go immediately and get some water and start rehydrating myself? Do I need to put some magnesium cream on my knee, or do I need to rest it or put some ice on it? You know, what can we do with what we, we've discovered with our checking in? That's where it counts, because if we just notice it but don't do anything about it, what's the point of checking in? I mean, honestly. So I've got a question to answer, which I thought would be appropriate for our Wednesday check-in time. The question came in from someone, I'm not sure who it is. Um, Corey's left me the question from someone who's emailed or posted somewhere on uh, social media, but he hasn't given me a name, so I'm not sure who said this. But the question is, why can I be kind, loving, nurturing, and caring to my family, but not invest the same to myself? So I'll repeat that. Why can I be kind, loving, nurturing, and caring to my family or people I love, but I can't be that for myself. So there's a couple of, in fact, there's a lot of things we could talk about with this. And I just want to touch on a couple of things which I feel are important that stand out for me as I think about that question. I think um, we need to, if we notice that, hey, I can be kind and loving and nurturing and caring to these people I love in my life, but I realise that I'm not I'm not doing that for myself. So there might be an issue around priorities. 
So it's good from time to time, especially as we change. I like to do it probably once a month, um, probably a couple of times a month if I've gone through big changes in myself. And maybe it might draw out to once every two or three months if I'm feeling quite stable. So quite regularly, I would call that, I do check in and see what my priorities are. Because as we change, as we see that, hey, I'm, I'm being really kind and, and caring to these people I love, but there's one person, really important person I'm neglecting, and that is myself. So that is a change, that's a change of attitude. So when that happens or when other things are shifting within us, I find that I need to look at my priorities. I need to look at how I'm spending my time. What are my priorities now? As my as things shift in me, I need to look at, okay, I, maybe because I've been neglecting myself, I need to put myself a little higher up on the list. We might not be able to put ourselves top of the list, maybe not yet and maybe not ever. But if we could just raise up on our priority list just a little bit, then uh, we might find that helpful too. So let's look at our priorities. If we notice that we're not um, caring and being kind to ourselves as much as we are to others. Um, I really feel that we've been in many ways trained to be this way. Um, we've been trained to put others first um, for many generations. So this is starting to shift and we will be starting to look at this. Um, so, you know, it's okay to uh, question and ask ourselves this question and explore um, the things that we are maybe imbalanced with in regards to how we're giving to others, but how we're letting ourselves also receive. Yeah, so in some ways, it's kind of a reprogramming, isn't it? It's reprogramming, reprogramming ourselves to uh, treat ourselves differently and maybe shift some of our beliefs and truths that we thought about how to treat ourselves and how to treat others. I do really feel that, and I've said this quite a lot lately, is that um, I feel it's important that we don't also lean the other way where we become too selfish and too self-absorbed and have ourselves as top priority number one on our priorities list. I really feel that um, it's important for us to uh, continue to be that uh, kind and loving and nurturing and caring person uh, for other people as well who are a part of our life. That, um, you know, if we drop everything always and just always look after number one, um, I think sometimes we might lose our balance or lose ourselves. So I, I find, like, um, for me, I have a lot of priorities and I'm certainly up there towards the top, but I wouldn't say that I am number one priority. Um, I feel at this time for me, my family, my children are certainly my top priority. They are working out what they're doing with their life. They're becoming independent. They're, um, you know, 20 and nearly 19. So ch their lives are going down different paths. My priority has to be in helping support them as best as I can with advice or with um, helping get things organized or encouraging them and this sort of thing. So it has to be top priority right now. In the next few years, I'd imagine they're going to become settled. Um, they are probably going to drop from that sort of top priority list. But right now, that is my priority. My work would probably come second. Or my actually my relationship with Corey, because that's also got to be high up there on our list, doesn't it? Our relationships, my work. And in, in fact, these four things, including my uh, connection with myself and spending time and looking after me, um, I think these four things would have to be quite equally on top. Um, so, you know, it just depends what's right for us and where we are in our life and what our priorities are. So I think assessing our priorities is extremely important because there are going to be things that we don't really resonate with any longer or they don't really match who we are. So we're going to really take them away from our priority list. The priorities, I think, are the things that we're willing to spend time in doing or um, being or creating or whatever it might be. So it's about what are we happy to spend time doing. 
So where do you sit on this priority list? If you're way down there at the bottom of the bottom, if you'll do everything before you're going to look after and nurture yourself, then there may be something to look at there. I think too we can retrain ourselves to um, speak and think and do kind things for ourselves. You know, uh, catch uh, catch ourselves when we're thinking or speaking something negative or unkind or harsh about ourselves and start treating ourselves better. That's not really a priority. That's just a training ourselves to communicate and think of ourselves in a more loving way. And this is something we can adopt in our daily conversations and thoughts that we have um, is okay catch that harsh thought and when we're being unkind to ourselves catch it and then cancel it basically kick it out of our mind if you want to and uh, replace it with a positive alternative so it's about retraining to how we're seeing ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis and that's not a priority thing that should just become a new new habit a new way if you like so maybe ask yourself some questions like, how do you see yourself? Are you being kind to yourself? You know, we're the one person that's going to be with us our whole life, from the moment we take our first breath to the moment we take our last breath in this body. We are the one constant throughout that whole time. So why not become friends with ourselves? Can we become our best friend? instead of our worst enemy. So when we become our best friend, when we start thinking and speaking more kindly and favorably of ourselves, then we're going to be living with ourselves, living with someone in a relationship with ourselves that's going to be much more pleasant and positive. And that has to be a benefit to this short, very quick um, lifespan that we have on this planet that's very precious. So I stopped being harsh, harshly thinking and treating myself harshly many years ago um, and it was a habit I had to break. I realised how powerful my thoughts were um, and even though no one could see them or hear them or they were very private so it didn't really matter what I was thinking, when I started valuing myself more I started caring more about what I thought and you know what I was thinking whether it was about myself or about others because if we judge ourselves there's no doubt that we might be kind and caring to people close to us but there are probably a lot of judgments that we have in our own mind that we think privately that are about these people or are about others. So when we can stop judging ourselves and start being kinder to who we are um, and improve our relationship, our friendship with ourselves, this has to have an on-flowing effect and a real genuine kindness and caring and non-judgmental thoughts and words that we also have towards others. So maybe some things to think about. Um, if you've been noticing lately that you've been a bit self-critical or you haven't been treating yourself very kindly, it might be worth thinking about that if you want to. Maybe some things that I've shared can help spark some options for you to consider and you feel and sit with what feels right for you. Just let this and all of my videos just be a guide only. Just um, take on board what resonates and what feels right for you and let the rest go. So I trust this has been helpful. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what the turning point was for you in regards to how you treated yourself. Or have you, uh, maybe you're at a crux sort of point of that now where you're considering how you treat yourself and you want to turn things around. So I'd be looking at writing in my journal and really exploring why do I treat myself this way and how can I start treating myself better and what way do I want to be treating myself. So just some thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. 
And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website at templeofbalance.com.au. If you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. I have stacks of resources that, are, that I've created to support your self-healing journey and your empowerment and stepping into the things that you are inspired by and that you're passionate about. So if you resonate with my energy, there might be something that you find supportive on my website. So please take a look and by purchasing on my website, you're supporting my work and that's essential in helping me be able to continue doing my work and these sorts of videos. So thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day and keep an eye out next week as I pop back in again for Wednesday check-in. Thanks for joining me. Bye.